Hello everybody, it's the Janet here once again and we've got uh, some more information on the Street Fighter V beta. Uh, they're doing a second wave of beta testing. If you remember the first beta test, people were kind of a little bit annoyed that it went down and stuff, you know. It wasn't active for very long, it was hard to connect, but the thing is, that's what beta test is for, you know. They tested the system out, they tested out their, their servers and stuff to see if they could handle it and stuff. Obviously they couldn't, obviously the demand was too high, but, you know, now they're ready for what impact they're going to be hit with for next time. So hopefully this uh, wave of the beta will be more playable so we'll see more out of it, but even if, even if we don't, you know, it still means that they're working on it, you know, it still means they're working on their system, still means they're working on how they're going to make the game work online, so you know, all this is valuable test data, and you know, it's a beta, you're, you're technically getting it for free, I mean, there are people that pre-order to get it, but the fact is you can pre-order and then cancel your pre-order and still get the uh, beta anyway, so you know, there's no, there's no big loss here, you're just, you know, being a part of a beta test, so, you know, that's cool in itself, why why be so, so butthurt about it? But anyway, there's a few things that are coming with it as well. It's uh, hopefully dropping on the 22nd of October to the 25th. So, you know, the week the week of uh, October 5th. So, you know, maybe you want to split that, play a bit of that, play a bit of Street Fighter 4, Smash or uh, Exord, you know, whatever you want to play before October 5th, October 5th, Dundee's biggest tournament, 25th of October, Mono Bar and Dundee. Get yourselves down there if you can. It'd be awesome to see you all there. It'd be great to hang out, great to play some games, and see who the best is and win some belts. But anyway, during that week, the beta goes live, and the first thing they're going to show off is they're going to have PC play as well. So you know, if you've uh, if you've pre-ordered the game on Steam, for example, you'll get access to the beta anyway. So you know, if you've got your pre-orders in for that, that's good. You'll get into the beta. If not, you know, you'll want to get your pre-orders done. I believe that's the only way to get into the PC one. PS3 uh, pre-order from a US site and then cancel it. Obviously a bit of a shady way to do it, but that's the way to do it. Or get yourself signed up as well, the enrollment forms back up. But anyone who was part of the beta phase uh, last time will be part of the beta phase now. So you know, you're not going to have to fight to get back in it or anything like that. So if you were in the beta before, if you got to play the first beta, you're going to be able to play it again. So that's handy, that's good, you know. You're still going to be able to part of the beta experience because you got in there and it's just going to let more people in. They've upped the amount to 100,000 I believe, so... It's going to be a bigger workload as well, but hopefully they've they've adapted the servers and they know what they can be doing, and you know that'll be a great thing to do. But other things I've got as well, they're going to be doing um, on the last two days, that's the 24th and the 25th, they'll be opening up the cross-platform play. So if there's any day for for stuff to go down and bad connections to happen, it's probably going to be that day. But you know, it's a first for them. I believe it's a first for Sony and Capcom to try this. So. You know, it's going to be an experiment for them as well. So you know, obviously, be patient with it. You can't get too mad. You know, they are testing it and they're using you to test it. You're getting the chance to play the game while you're testing it. So, if it works, awesome. If it doesn't, that's unfortunate. But uh, deal with it as well. You know, since the last beta as well. You know, the the you got to play as a lot of characters. You got to play up to Birdie, which was quite good. But now they've added in the beta. They've added Ken, the Kali, Vega, and Armika from the start. Uh, so they were they were the characters that were announced right after the beta as well. So you know the beta was going on, people were like, "Can I play as Ken? Can I play as Nikali, please?" And it didn't quite happen. And then they'll also be adding in Karen and Rashid as well on the 23rd and the 24th. So you know the second and the third day they're going to be adding the extra characters to that as well. But the interesting thing to note is that your previous characters, your Ryu, Kami, Chun Li, Birdie, Nash, and Bison, are not going to be selectable in this beta. You're not going to be able to use these characters. So you know, you know, you've used them in the last beta, and if you haven't, you know, sorry you're a Johnny come lately, but who cares? You know, you're still getting a chance to play these characters as well. So you know, as well, that means that online's going to be a bit more focused, a bit more variety, because there's going to be different characters as well, and you know, a lot of people are psyched to play, you know, these new characters as well, especially Rashid, Karen, Ken. I know has been getting a lot of hype as well. I liked playing them when I was at a versus fighting earlier on in the year, and it's it's great that these characters have been added. It's an interesting twist to take out the original kind of beta cast but you know if they want to test these other characters you know why not why not just remove them you know make people play them you know just get them out there it's, it's a good way to do it another thing they've added as well they've added ranked too so you know there's got to be better ranked gameplay in that one you know I think before it was technically ranked as well but you were just kind of gathering points it wasn't anything major they've also combining the leaderboards as well they're combining the PC and the PS4 leaderboards so you know you're going to be able to, you know, you're not going to have to be stuck on, you know, just because you're playing on PS4, you know, you're not just going to be the best at PS4, you know, the kind of the kind of thing that you've got going on in Ultra Street Fighter 4 there, like, yeah, he's third in the world on Xbox Live, he's third in the world 
on a PS4, you know, so it's going to be it's going to be different like that, you know. It's gonna you're gonna have a combined leaderboard, so you know, you know, outside of obvious boosters and cheaters and people like that, you're gonna be able to see who's you know the best at playing online. That means you probably as well if they can combine leaderboards, they can probably with crossplay as well combine replays as well. So you're gonna be able to track players no matter what format they're playing on, no matter where they are. So you know, it's it's definitely keeping the community together, you know. They want to bring this community online, you know. They want the one of their main focuses for Street Fighter Five is online. So, why not? Why not? You know, combine everything, leaderboards, all sorts of stuff like that, and it'll be pretty good. And just leading on to that, they're also adding player search as well. So you'll be able to search for these top players, no matter what format they're on, no matter what platform they're playing on, how they're playing. You're gonna be able to find them anywhere in the world that they're playing. So you can track your best players. You know, you've seen their onlines on, you know, your your Ashore Yukins and your um. Your finest fighters and stuff like that, you know, you see all your best players and that, you want to track them, you could do that not just Fighter 4, but this is going to be more refined, this is now tuned for you to do that. So, you know, lots of features like that to, to, to watch the best, learn from the best, and uh, hopefully up your gameplay that way, you know, it's, it's a good feature as well, it's a good training tool, and, uh, you know, hopefully hopefully it works off in this beta, if it doesn't, I, I guarantee it'll be working by the time the game's done, because that's, you know, Capcom, they pull through, they get some slack, but, you know, they, they pull through. Another thing as well is you're going to be able to unlock some uh, some things, some titles uh, with your fight money. They want to test out the fight money system. They want to test out how people spend them, how much people hoard them. You know, I reckon that's what the test is going to be as well. How much they can give out, how much people earn in a in a sitting, how much people earn over the beta phase, what people will buy over the beta phase. Because apparently, stages, the uh, the current stage is apparently an unlockable that you can buy as well. So you know, you're going to be able to. Uh, to, to have a, you know, the titles will probably be a short term, short amount of uh, fight money go and then it'll be, you know, over the five days can you save up and buy this extra stage you know, this is a good way of testing out, you know, how the how the currency system is going to work, you know build their, build, it's not really an economy, you know, you're not giving money to other players and giving it back but you know, you know, just to see how, how the money's spent, how the points will be spent, how they're earned you know, who's grinding, who's not grinding, how they're grinding, how much they're grinding to actually get what they're getting it's a good thing to test out. So you know, they're they're testing out the the other facets of the of the online system. There, you know, this will be what determines how characters will be bought and how um, how costumes and stuff could be assigned through the fight money system as well as the real money system. So you know, if you're part of the beta, I reckon it's a good idea for you to to get in contact with Capcom and let them know how it's going on, how you're actually how you're actually getting on with these things, how how you feel you should be spending on things like that, you know, given given the sort of template that you're getting with these titles and these um, stages. So, you know, because that's what a beta is all about. Beta is about, you know, giving giving the advice, giving the feedback back to the back to the developers so they know what they can do, they know that they can make the they can take it on board and make the experience the best that they can. So, you know, as you were saying, you know, if you want to be a part of the beta you can enroll on the enrollment site on the uh, PlayStation site. Uh, either that or you can um you can pre-order it on Steam and I reckon you'll get a beta key as well. But if you want to be sneaky, you know, find one of the American retailers, <laughs> pre-order from them, get your code sent and then <laughs> cut it out as well. Another thing as well, another bonus, if you're playing on PS4, so far they've said, on the Japanese sites anyway, is that if you if you are part of the beta, this beta phase on the PS4, you also get access to um, free Halloween costumes. Now it's not been made clear if these costumes will be available to everyone around the world or even if you know they'll be available to buy if you're not part of the beta if you're on you know PC because it's only PS4 it said so far so if you're on PC, PS3 or Xbox 360 you're going to be able to get these costumes anyway some of them are really sick and I really hope that you do uh, but we'll, we've got a few images of them and we'll, we'll go through them as well so anyway we've got like a sad jilted bride sort of Chung Lee you know you know Frankenstein's bride you know she's you know, it's one of those fan service ones, put her in a dress, show off her legs, you know, give her a run of mascara, make her cry, that looks spooky, it's not really the most spooky of the uh, Halloween ones, you know, you're going to see a theme as well, you know, when they're not sure on ideas, <laughs> when they're not sure on ideas, Capcom goes straight to the zombies, right? they're like, <laughs> they've got no shame there, so uh, if you're not sure how this character, uh, there's some characters that aren't here, and if you're not sure how they're going to work out, honestly, I would bet your money on them being some form of zombie. So we've got Chung Lee, Jilted Bride, Ryu, Zombie in a Tuxedo. Could he have got bitten before he got made it to the altar with Chung Lee? You know, maybe that's the storyline, the narrative they're going on there. 
you know, he's got the tuxedo on. Uh, that, could, that could be the narrative right there. I don't know. Maybe they were going to get married and then Ryu got bitten. I don't imagine Ryu getting bitten, you know. As soon as a zombie comes up to him, three frame invincible DP, bam! You ain't biting that. Uh, <laughs> there's Grim Reaper again, which is amazing. You know, Gen's always... Also, I don't know if you're noticing these, um, his um, sleeves there, but they're sort of materialising and stuff, you know. Maybe that's going to be a theme of the costume. He's got a clock there as well. You know, a, an hourglass even. So, you know, your time's up and stuff like that. He's got the scythe too. Pretty, pretty cool costume for him being the Grim Reaper in our character. It's definitely associated. Mainly more with his own mortality than anyone else's, but, you know, a character associated with death given the death costume. Then we've got Poison, another, you know, trope of Halloween. Give them a give them a slotty nurse costume. You know, nurses, they're scary, especially the slotty ones. You know, but still, you know, zombie are up to. That's what you do with that. That's how you do that. Then we've got zombie mime as well. You can even see from Abel's lips there, he's taking a bite. That's another thing I've never noticed from that Abel, uh, that Abel costume, as you know. Another thing is, you know, he's, he's doing the hand motion that uh, Gail does during his jumping roundhouse kick. He's probably had this whole game and I've never noticed it, but, you know, does that, you know, solidify the sort of friendship between him and him and Gail and then the whole story between him knowing Nash and stuff? Obviously, this is like Street Fighter Five War and stuff that, you know, because he knows someone that looked like Gail and done a Sonic Boom. That's Abel's story in the game. So, you know, who knows, but he's done that kick. But anyway, he's a mime. Mimes are fun. He's French. French mimes. Ha, huh, I get it. Uh, this is actually one of the more interesting costumes right there. It's a jester jury, you know, court jester jury, you know, with those colours as well. And, you know, with the, with the costumes that add in, you know, 20 or so colours now, there could be some really interesting combinations in there. You're going to find some really sick ones. And, you know, I reckon it's probably one of the best costumes in the back. This jury, you know, looks really cool. You know, it's different. It's not a... It's not like any other female costumes that we've seen in this pack so far, so you know. It's a good one. It's a really good one actually. It's a really interesting one. I can't wait to see the colours for this one. Um we've got uh Ifrit Honda. He looks like Ifrit from uh Final Fantasy Ten right now, you know, obviously he's meant to be some sort of Oni, some sort of demon or anything. He's got like the blue the blue sort of the blue markings on his face, he's got Road Warriors paint in his eyes, because why not? Big grey beard, big grey hair, because you know Shin zombies, all sorts of stuff, all Shin Oni sort of forms in, in the Street Fighter universe definitely have the white hair, and why not? And then, oh, I just turned that one back on, that was a big gaff there. But anyway, we've got that one, we've got the Oni, the Oni sort of demon, demon Honda, that's pretty cool. Then we've got uh, Dr. Jekyll Blanca, you know, that's fantastic right there, you know, he's got a suit on, he's just busting out of it. Obviously, he's transformed, he's changed, you know, you could go with Werewolf as well, but you know, that Jekyll and Hyde sort of thing as well, where he's gone evil, he's gone loose, you know, he's you know, he's in his beast form and stuff, you know, it makes sense. I like I like when costumes follow through on that. You know, two sorts of costumes I like ones where they follow through on the theme of the character. Or you know, an interesting looking one like the the Jester Jury one that we saw there. Then we've got I believe that's T Hawk. It could be it could be Talzum. But anyway, he's um he's metal as f hell. <laughs> I mean, he's got claws and bones all over him. He's got a big skull on him. You know, he's been hunting. Up, I believe it's got to be it's got to be T Hawk, but you know, with the, the cross legged pose, it could easily be Dalsim as well. And uh, then we've got the Undertaker. The Undertaker Zangief is one of my other favourites in this costume pack as well because it's different too. It's not it's not just made him a zombie. You know, he's he's an Undertaker. You know, he's got he's a grave digger at least anyway. You know he's got the he's got the the hat that the Undertaker has at least, and you know he's looking old. The Undertaker looks old now. I like it. I like the the thing there. It's a really interesting costume actually, and you'll see me probably use that well until Street Fighter Five starts if we can get access to these costumes on the other consoles, of course. Then we've got Deadbeat Zombie Cody with his headphones in. That's a costume that they've added. And then you've got <laughs> the Day of the Dead, the Day of the Dead El Fuerte, and you know, is this is this an ominous sign of you know El Fuerte's chances of being in Street Fighter Five? You know, I just think you know, let's make him a skeleton and show you he's dead in the war when it comes to that cast. I mean, you don't know who it's going to be. You know, he could still easily be in the game. He could make it, but right now, you know, all skeleton costume as well. You know, as well, you know, he's coming at you. He's coming at you with that cue bomb. The skeleton is chasing you. Chasing the Argonauts ain't ready for that man. If he was if he was after them, you know, chasing them Argonauts with that golden fleece and stuff, when the skeleton just comes out, Harry Housen and just 
just chest bumps him with a cue bomb, bounces him off a wall and kills him. That movie would take would have taken a whole different turn right there. But anyway, that's El that's skeleton El Fuerte. Skill Fuerte. And then here's another interesting one as well. You've got um Yon anyway. He's got the you know, you might you might recognise him as uh Son Son, you might recognise him as Jiba, you know, all those characters based on that uh, journey journey to the West mythos, you know, the thing that the, the big anime about the Monkey King that, that travels the world to get stronger at fighting and stuff and you know it's the, the, the basically the basis of Dragon Ball which then became Dragon Ball Z you know so it's that cool thing and then um, Yan he's a king he's probably something to do with the story as well I don't know the story terribly well I don't know it well at all actually I just know that that's what Dragon Ball and Son Son and Shiba are based on so you know it's probably something tied to it as well he's wearing similar colours and uh, you know the young costume looks pretty good as well. It's a pretty fly crown he's got. And what else do we have? Oh yeah, <laughs> forgot about this one. You know, you you uh, call it Goblin, Goblin Rufus, Orc Rufus. You can even call it Angry Bird Pig Rufus if you really wanted to. But you know, yeah, <laughs> it's a really good costume. You know, Shrek Rufus. I don't even know what you call him. But you know, he's an ogre. He's a goblin. He's I don't know what he is, but oh, <laughs> it looks really good. You know, another one that's, that's, that's out there, far out of left field, but really interesting. I believe that's probably the last one we've got. Yeah, as anyway, that's it. You know, covered the bear, covered the costumes that we might get. But anyway, guys, if you want to, um, if you want to hear more of my, um, really hear more of my opinions, more of my thoughts, you're enjoying them, please drop off some comments, drop uh, sound off in the comments. Let me know if you're enjoying these. If you're not, you know, share it around, post it, maybe give me a like share it on your Twitters or even give me a subscription as well. Give me a subscription on YouTube and you know let me know that you want to hear more of this, you like my opinions, you like these uh, little clean downs that I'm doing, you know, kinda of rough on the old videos that I used to do. But if you're enjoying these guys, please let me know and I'll I'll definitely get in there and try some more. Anyway, thanks very much for watching guys. Please like, comment, subscribe and all that. And hopefully I will uh, hear from you again.